What is up YouTube, program 5 here, welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys an insane ether shroud glitch here on Forsaken. So if you guys do enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you guys would drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and do enjoy. We're on that grind to 400 subscribers. Follow me on all social medias that will be down in the description below. That's where I post every time I go live or upload a video, as well as a link to Discord if you guys do want to be part of the community. And let's get right the video so before we do start this glitch you guys want to make sure your ether shroud is at least tier 3 if it's anything below it's not going to work so whenever you guys have your ether shroud tier 3 you just want to go ahead and load up into forsaken now when you spawn in forsaken all you guys want to do is go a few rounds to get a good amount of points because you guys will need to be opening up doors and getting perks and during this time it will be filling up your ether shroud now you guys can stay in no man's land where the rounds just keep constantly changing or you guys can go through the portal and then come back and it'll just be the regular rounds. You guys also want to make sure you guys don't pick up any stim shots or get quick revived. Because if you do, the death barrier hits will do more damage to you. Now when you have your ether shroud filled up and you guys have a decent amount of points. You guys want to go ahead and go to the portal to go to checkpoint. Whenever you guys are at checkpoint, you guys might as well go ahead and get jug. So you don't have to get it later. Now what you guys want to do is go go down to main street. And this door right here, you guys want to keep closed. You guys do not want to open this door. You guys want to keep it shut. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and go to the right and open that door over there. Now there is another door I do not want you guys to open and that is this door right here, the gate that leads to the portal. Keep that closed as well and do not open it. Now what you guys want to do is go by the door I told you not to open and you guys want to stand beside the trash bin like I am. Then you guys want to go ahead and use your ether shroud and it should put you in the room with the dancing zombie. Then you guys want to go ahead and open the door and then go ahead and get stamina up so you guys can run faster because at this point you guys will start to take death barrier damage. Then whenever you have that, you just want to run up top and go in the portal. Now when you guys get to the portal, you guys should have full health. So you guys should have enough time to jump down here and open up this door. Now whenever you guys open up this door, you guys will stop taking damage from the death barrier. And you guys will be good here to go ahead and go through more rounds if you guys need more points for more perks. Now the perks I would suggest you guys get besides the two that you already have is a meal kick for obviously when you kill zombies, they drop ammo when you have it to a certain tier. And also elemental pot because the only bad part about this glitch is that you guys cannot pack a punch you guys will be using a normal weapon so getting elemental pop will help you by giving you guys those pack a punch elements that you guys won't be able to get now you guys can also get that shot daiquiri and speed cola if you guys want now whenever you guys are ready all you guys want to do is go ahead and go back through the portal now you guys do want to be quick here because when you guys do get back through you guys will be taking death barrier damage again so all you guys want to do is just follow the exact route i'm going and whenever you pass this concrete wall you guys will stop taking damage now there is a sweet spot to this glitch if you guys are too far back you guys will start taking damage from the death barrier but if you guys are too far forward all the zombies will become attracted to you so if you're in the correct spot you guys will see all the zombies are just going to start piling up now if you guys notice you guys killed all the zombies and the round didn't change and you guys don't see any more zombies spawning what you guys are going to have to do is just move out of the spot and wait until you guys see more zombies spawn and then get back in that spot and those zombies will pile up now with the abominations those guys will stay in the room with the dancing zombie that is only until you guys leave that spot once you guys leave and you start moving around to get the ammo that the zombies dropped the abomination will be a check to you so at that time i would suggest maybe throwing on a ring of fire or something and killing it quickly before the next round starts now if you guys do want to get back to the main part of the map all you guys got to do is go to the store and just use eat the shroud and it'll put you back in the main area now you guys are good to go ahead and get the remaining perks that you guys didn't get or if you guys want to get armor or upgrade your gun. This is going to be the end of the video. So if you guys did enjoy, I would appreciate it if you guys would drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and do enjoy. We're on that grind to 400 subscribers. Follow me on all social medias. That will be down in the description below. That's where I post every time I go live or upload a video. As well as a link to Discord if you guys do want to be part of the community. And until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.